Hi, everyone. My name is Miranda Ward with the Valuable Voices podcast. I have my friend Kim Combs here today. I cannot wait for you to meet her and hear what God's doing in her life. So we met through a program we both signed up for to hear God's voice. And again, I just love connecting with her. Sometimes weekly, we just get together and pray and I just love hearing what God's doing. So I wanted to introduce you to her. She has a couple different projects she's working on. So Kim, why don't you help, well, help set the stage and kind of share whatever you feel like, you know, kind of your backstory and what kind of got you to where you are today. Sure, well, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. And yes, I love it when we connect. pray for our families and share what God's doing in our life. And I mean, that's really what it's all about. What is he Amen. doing in our lives and how can we encourage one another? Yeah. And remind one another that he's always there. So. Yes. And you've been a huge, just listener, supporter, encourager for me. So thank you for being there. Oh, well, thank you. I love your voice. I love where you're going. I love the fact that you wish to help other women. Um, go through what you've gone through without having to go through what you've gone through. So I just think that that's extremely encouraging and extremely inspirational. Thank you. So needed in today's world. Yeah. Yeah. And that's my heart is so many women have, you know, helped me. And now I just want to be that and help people in that way and introduce people to the people that have done that for me so that they can connect and stay connected because we just, we just need that. We need each other in this, in this world. (laughs) So we absolutely do. And this is a great way to be able to connect to each other. I mean, you're in your state. I'm in my state. I know. We've never even met face to face, which is really crazy. If you think about it, Yeah, there will be a day, (laughs) but it just shows you, you can build a relationship God is the foundation, no matter so where true. you are. I love that. Across countries. Yeah. And that's, that's really, honestly, what he's, so I've been in sales my entire life. I've been in health and wellness, and I just really love to help people. I mean, that's really what it boils down to. I love to help people, whether it's with their sales, their marketing, their health and wellness, their spirituality. I just love to help people, and I've always been the kind of person who connects people. Mm-hmm. Um, a very good friend of mine one day we were walking she's like you know you're a connector like, hmm, I guess I kind of am a connector yeah because that was interesting that she kind of put that tidbit in me because that's exactly where the Lord's gone with me so I was in sales I had been in um, broadcast media and I think I've told you my mother got ill she became ill and during that time the Lord told me to start writing um Definitely had me praying quite a bit more than I'd ever prayed. Seeking truth, really, really seeking truth in regards to cancer is what she had. And yeah. um, different ways to, to serve her, to be there for her. I remember one morning you told me to love, listen, learn. Mm. That's interesting. What the heck does that mean? Like love, listen, learn. And he really showed me that, you know, love her first, listen to what she needs and then learn from that. Mm. Always, always lead in love. So um, that was something that he did for me during that time. And then shortly after she had passed, I just always knew there was something more for me. I knew he had me in training in these different sales roles, but I really wasn't sure what for. As I said, I have a passion for fitness. I have a passion for health. I have a passion for the Lord, obviously. I have a passion for sales and marketing and leadership and um, I just knew after she passed that it was time, it was time to pull the plug from corporate America and it was time to make a change. And so I stepped out in faith and I knew I was going to write. I knew I would speak. I knew I would coach. I had no idea what that would look like. Um, I went to college and my degree is for teaching, which I yeah. never really used. I didn't know that, is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my degree is actually teaching, which most people don't know. because There I you never go. Really, never really <laughs> taught, although I am teaching, obviously, now. <laughs> yes, you are. But, um, <laughs> it's just interesting. In my freshman year of college, my roommate was from Uganda. Mm-hmm. I had waited to make my decision on where I was going to go to school until, like, the last minute. And so the only place left was the international dorm, which was amazing to begin yeah, with. Yeah, what but a it was, experience. Oh, amazing experience. I mean, seeing people from different countries who had never seen snow 
and teaching them to sled Aww. and um, seeing them eat like a hamburger for the first time. I mean, silly things the that we take for yeah. granted. Uh-huh. They were, they were so childlike things mm. that they got to experience for the first time. So that was really cool. But my roommate was from Uganda and lo and behold, now here I am multiple decades later connecting with people in Uganda, praying with people in Uganda and in Africa and in Kenya and in um, India and Pakistan. And I had no true thought of that or knowledge of that or heart for that, but the Lord had put that in me. And he oh, yeah. Me that connection it was like right that from, seed was planted a long time ago. Yes, it was. So I had left my career and found this course that you and I met through. Yeah. Um, just as you said, hoping to hear more from God, figure out truly what's my purpose. What am mm-hmm. I, what did you really build me here for? And so as I went through that and we got to know each other more, um, I truly thought like I had this down to a science. Okay. I know exactly who I'm going after. I know in marketing, we always say, you know, what's the problem you solve? Who's the audience you serve? And yes. It, I was like round and round and round and round to figure out who it was. And I legitimately, I mean, I'll never forget. It was January 31st and I thought I had it down pat. I was so excited. I stayed up super late. I cut this video of here's who I am. Here's the problem I solve. If this is you, I can help you. And I went to bed at like 3 a.m. that night, just like a little kid, super yeah. deep, right? I couldn't, I couldn't lay down. And I finally got to sleep and I woke up the next morning and my Facebook had 10 connections from Africa, from India, from Pakistan. Nobody knew each other. Um, nobody knew me. I mean, I was like, oh, this is really weird. I mean, right. I'm, I'm teaching my 14 year old. We don't accept friends. We don't know. We don't <laughs> accept friends of friends. We don't know. Like, here's what a stranger is. And yeah. Uh, here they are, 10, and they were all men too. Mm -hmm. And a handful of them were pastors or ministers or missionaries. And they had some common commonalities, but none of them were connected, which was just, again, so bizarre to me, but I thought, okay. And I take it they weren't necessarily your audience that you recorded the night before, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. No, the audience that I had picked, honestly, the night before was a younger me, Mm -hmm. somebody who knew there was, knew there was a Lord, knew there was God, but didn't know God. I had learned about God, but never really heard God, never really spent time with God. And I do think that that's still an audience that I will and can help. For sure. There's this other group also now, I call them warriors, which is what the Lord gave me. But so he connected me with these 10 people, right? And at first I was like, looking at each of their profiles and, you know, sales assessing them, if you will, which is so American or so salesy. (laughs) But I thought, well, this is, it's obviously the Lord. So, okay, we'll just accept each of them. And so I went along my merry way and kind of thought, what the, what's he doing here? Like, why, why? And he kind of reminded me that about eight or nine months ago, he put it in my heart to start posting scripture. And at first I was very, um, timid with it very I would do it every now and then and I remember as clear as day one morning he said your post may be the only scripture they get oh and I was like how many do you want me to do a day (laughs) how often you tell me I don't care what people think I only want to please you and if this truly is the only time somebody's going to get your word Mm. then I'll give it I'll give it all day long and so I'd been doing that for about eight months and I'd been being a little more bold in that and so I thought, okay, maybe that's it. Maybe they're finding my scripture, his, his yeah. word. Yeah. And so go along my business and the next day I wake up and there's 20. Wow. And nobody knew anybody still no connections, you know, because it's Facebook. Everybody could just be a friend of a friend. Right. And nobody was, nobody was friends of friends. Huh. And so same thing. I was like, okay, I'm, I mean, I've been searching for who's my audience. What problem do I solve? Okay. I'll accept them all. And yeah. so I accepted all 10 or 20 and just went about my day. And the next day I woke up and there were 40. I was like, by, by this, right. By this point, I'm like, okay. And I remember I was vacuuming in my daughter's room and it's like, this is the way it works in the kingdom. Mm-hmm. It's my multiplication, accept them all. 
and I really like that took a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I think 40 people and I'm thinking, okay, now there's 70 of them on 70 people on my page that wow. are all from Africa and India and Pakistan. And now they were coming from um, some, some of like Saudi Arabia and some of the Arabic or Muslim countries, if you will. And yeah, I'm like, okay, all right, I'll just keep rolling with this. And the next day there were 80 and I sat on the couch or the steps with him, which was not my war room. Like my bathroom is my little war room. But at this point I was like, okay, you don't even need to be in your war room. Just, he can talk to you anywhere. Just listen. And so right. he gave me a good two pages of what he was doing. And he just mm -hmm. said, I want him to come to you and I want him to come to your page so they can see you as a person and they can recognize that there's nothing extraordinary about you. You're just, you're, you're, you're being you, you're being your unique self and you're going to make me real to them. Yeah. So, so, okay, I will do what I'm doing. I'll keep posting about my family and I'll keep posting about you and I will make them real to you, I guess. However you see that fit, just tell me what to do. And so then my phone started ringing like insane through messenger. I'm getting calls day and night and I was scared. You know? Well, yeah, that's a big shift. I mean, yes, you're being obedient, but still your mind had to be like, what is going on? Well, then why are you calling me? What are you yeah. calling me for? What do you, what do you want from me? You know, it was, I mean, coming from sales, I've had 200 clients at a time. I'm sure. juggling them. I'm on the phone oh. all the time. I'm managing things. That doesn't scare me, but this truly scared me. I mean, I, and I, Again, I'm like, for like a week, I'm not, I'm just accepting friends, accepting friends, accepting friends, not, not answering phones, not answering phones, getting all these texts. I mean, I had like six pages of messenger and I'm like, oh my gosh, what do you want me to do with all your people? Like, wow. what, do you, what do you want of me? And yeah. finally he was like, answer the phone. Mm -hmm. I did what? <laughs> answer the phone and do what? And he's yeah. like, pray. I'm like, oh, okay. Answer yeah. the phone and pray. Yeah. So it was so funny because I started in radio in my marketing career and in broadcast media. And it just brought me to like this caller number nine, you're on the air with so-and-so, what can I do for you? You know, but that wasn't what I was saying, obviously, but I'm like, hello, hi, this is, you know, how can I pray for you? It just seems so weird and so off kilter, but that's what he wanted. He wanted yeah. me to pray. And so I started praying with people day and night. And, you know, they're obviously in different countries and different time zones. And I remember he was like, establish boundaries. Otherwise, you know, you're going to get well, calls yeah. at all days and all hours. And yeah, so it's been I it's love a that. wild ride. And, and it's so cool how you take a step. Then you're like, okay, what's next? You take another step. Okay, what's next? Like he's walking you through each step. That is really powerful. Very cool. It has been extremely powerful. And he spoke to me last yesterday about that. Walking with God. That's truly what it is. It's walking with God. And yeah. so this the spiritual um, habits that he's taught me to connect with him is what he does want me to teach. And it's what he's giving me the opportunity to share with these different pastors and different missionaries and different ministers and I remember saying, there's going to come, can I start a group? He's like, no, nope, don't start a group. Send them to your page. Send them to your page. I want them to see you, to see me. And I've been praying for months, right. probably years, honestly. Let them see you and me. Let me be your hands and feet. When they look at me, let them see Jesus. Yes. Let them see you. And so, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what we're doing. Fast forward now, I have a warrior group because there came a point where there were over 5,000 friend requests Wow, coming to me. Oh, in the short, legitimately, like between February 1st and we started the group, I say we, meaning me and God, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. the we, but Your I started partner. the group, we, we start, yeah, my partner, my father, we started the group like March 2nd or March, I should know the date, it was first okay. week of March, okay. and I got to the point where we couldn't take friend requests anymore. Wow. And when I sat on that step, I said, why? Like thinking my friends are going to think I've lost my marbles. Right. Like my <laughs> Facebook page went from 300 people that yeah. I do know that I've known through 
my history in health industry, in sales and marketing, in broadcast media, through church, through the kids that I've helped grow and different, yeah, sure. you know, the different places that I've been yeah. um, to now 5,000 and people from all walks of countries, all walks of mm-hmm. life. And I actually had a few of my family reach out and say, you know, what's going on? Why I'm getting requests from people now in Africa and they're asking for money and they're asking for things and um, some very uncomfortable conversations because like I'm completely comfortable sharing this with you because you've walked alongside of me. Right, right. But I don't share this with everybody. I mean, when you start saying these things, they look at you like you're nuts. Yeah, yeah. Although COVID's really helped because now now my walk is a little more normal. Right, right. (laughs) Honestly. But yeah, so once we got to the point where we could start the group, he said, okay, you can start the group. And so we have a group, it's called Warriors. um, And it's, we pray for each other. We pray with each other. Um, I'm teaching these different lessons that the Lord gives me. And I yeah. legitimately one morning woke up and he's like, teach him how to pray. I'm like, I don't know how to pray. And he's like, you pray all the time with people. You totally know how to pray. Yeah. Teach him what I've taught you. And so he's been talking to me a lot about that. Teach what I've taught you. So um, I love that. So yeah, I just, I love this group. We're praying for each other, helping each other, encouraging one another, inspiring one another. Yeah, a whole section for prayer requests or the section for testimonies. It's so beautiful. And at one point you told me, you know, again, they may not have anybody else in their life that's kind of there for them, listening, teaching, breathing, or, you know, praying with them. I mean, so yeah, what a, what a cool opportunity for you. And just by you saying yes. Yeah. Well, and that's the truth. I mean, if you say yes and just keep saying yes, things that he can do through us yeah we have no idea I mean if you were to tell me I would quit my corporate job and a year later less than I mean honestly it started like February 1st well I mean my walk with him started before that but his creation of what he's doing started February 1st and this is only September 4th and there's all these groups I mean we've done prayer chains together where we did a 30 day prayer chain where we were each praying at different hours and that really connected this little group. And yes. now there's a group inside of the group that we're connecting with people from Africa because he's been talking a lot about connection with me right? and having them pray together with one another for one another and connecting them inside of their own countries. And so I have a U.S. group and I have a warriors in Africa, warriors in India, warriors in Pakistan. And yes. We're just scratching the surface. I mean, I wow. know. Oh yeah just just getting started here yeah but at the but same time already you've come so far it's so cool yeah it's it's him I mean it's not me it's just me saying yes yeah what do you want well, me to do today I'm willing to do that so you were willing which is awesome yeah so it's, that's the warrior group which is amazing tell us about bright spots as well yeah so bright spots is my company um that's where it's all gonna fall under I'm working on books. I'm working on this curriculum. It will be an opportunity for people to pick and choose almost like a menu. I think is where we're going. We're like knee deep in figuring this out, but I know at the end of the day, there is going to be a long program called one, which Mm -hmm. is all about teaching you to really be one with Christ, one with God, one with the Holy spirit. How do you really walk with God? And that'll include journaling with Jesus, teaching you how to pray, um, hearing his voice, capturing your own thoughts. There's a whole curriculum be- behind that, but those will also be able to be piecemealed for things that people think they need. Yeah. And then yesterday he kind of gave me, he's been trickling this through to me, through to me that um, he's introducing me to. So besides the people that he's bringing me to pray with now, a lot of them, there's so many orphans. Yeah. So many street children, I hate to call them orphans because none of us are orphans. We're all children of the one high God, of the one, you know, the one true God. However, we in our mind may think we're orphans or we have legitimately lost our mom and our dad. You know, both my parents have passed. So I guess I'm technically an orphan. I'm not. I know I'm, you know, I know who my father is and I'm connected to him. Thank goodness. But, um, There's so many children who don't have families in Uganda, in Kenya, in Pakistan, and in um, India. 
And he's really been showing me and allowing me to like the way we're doing this. He'll take me into Uganda into a, into this one school in particular, and I get to meet the kids. And so he's been wow. speaking to me that I'm going to start writing stories about these children's lives uh. and about these people. And so there's books in the future tied to yeah. that. I don't, I have no idea what it looks like. I mean, I he's giving me it. bits and pieces and I just say, okay, what, what else? What more? What now? Yeah. So, um, so that's all like in your business. What about in your relationships or your family or finances or health? You know, are you kind of closely getting direction from him there too? Or are you kind of focused on your business right now? Oh, that's a great question. You're so good. That's mm -hmm. a great question. Yeah, I of course go to him, which I didn't honestly until I really started hearing him. Yeah. I didn't go to him for everything, but like with what's going on with the school system. I, mean, right. I have three children in school and they would love to go back to school. I mean, right. They're chomping at the bit to go back to school. But I sat with him and said, what, what do you want, daddy? Yes. What do you want for your children? And he specifically told me, keep them home. Yeah. I mean, he gave me a vision of what it would be like in school. And he gave me a vision of what it's like at home. Yeah. And although they may not fully agree to it right, right. now, um, right. I know it's his vision and it's what he wants. So I'm not perfect by any means. I mean, right. I, I was like the queen of, I'd run ahead and do it because I'm a yes. doer. He told me that yesterday, actually, I'm a doer. So I would do it. And then I'd be like, bless it. Right. <laughs> like, no, <Yes. laughs> ask, and then I'll tell you, and then I'll bless it. Yeah, so good. So but, yeah, and we so, may not understand why he's telling us something at that moment, but he knows, he knows more than we do. So we have to trust. And I've yes. learned a lot from you in that too. So that's been really cool. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome Thank girl. You. Well, I'm just grateful for you. Glad we got connected. I know there's so much more and we could talk forever, but I just can't wait to see what God does. I mean, he's already done so much and it's so cool to see. And I'm just, again, thankful to be connected and thankful for you and your walk and you inspire me. So just know that and you encourage me and I'm so thankful and I hope everyone has someone like that in their life. So thank you for being there. I will post the links to your pages and you guys awesome. check it out. And um, again, if you guys know anybody else that should be on here that we need to hear about somebody that, you know, I love this space to, share you know sometimes we don't feel like our voice is valuable and i think we're both learning in our walk that yes people need to hear our story and that's just what i want to share with all of you so thanks for being here kim i appreciate you i appreciate you have a great day thank you take care